jsem tam taky. Tak já se jmenuji Jan Koral a natáčím pro mmoo.org. Jsme ve švýcarském Sant Moricu, kde se koná od 9. do 12. června setkání klubu Bilderberg. A měli jsme to štěstí, že jsme se setkali s Jimem Takrem, který je který už dlouhá desetiletí se snaží dostat informace o skupině Bilderberg na veřejnost. Tak se nyní zeptáme na pár otázek. Uh, if you uh, met somebody inside uh, in the hotel uh, Subreta, inside uh, Bilderberg group, and uh, if you have uh, some interesting information from inside, which you... I have uh, not personally uh, met this man to protect his identity, and from the inventions of Bilderberg, mm -hmm. I can tell you he's a male, I do if he's all young, that skinny, I'm sure tall. I don't know. Uh, because this way, if they catch me, they put me on the rack. I cannot name him. I cannot describe him. Of course, they put me on the rack. But I recognize the voice. It's the same uh, voice I hear in Tylenol conditioning on the stick. I hear Tylenol's Peter Parson for Bilger. So, uh, whatever his role in life is, he is present in observing inside every Bilderberg and every trial level commission meeting. Mm -hmm. His information is always proven, uh, been confirmed by history. Yeah. Because of him, I was able to do an advanced story on uh, President Bill Clinton's invasion of Kosovo's in his first year in office. Uh, I did an advanced story on the downfall of uh, Lady Thatcher is Prime Minister of Britain. Uh, advanced stories on, one time was a happy advanced story a few years ago. They decided to ignore a wall crisis. They're afraid that Joe Six times uh, never buy a big car again, drive a small car, or even stay on his bicycle. So they wanted to get Joe Six back, back into driving big rigs, uh, big, big cars. Yeah. So uh, they brought the gas prices down dramatically to more than four dollars in the United States to less than two dollars a gallon. Uh, but this year, like most years, the news is not good. They're determined that Americans uh, pay seven dollars or more for gas. The price now is about four dollars a gallon, which is high <laughs> by American standards. Uh, they believe that keeping, they tend to keep the recession going for the year 2012, and they see two blessings in that. It will uh, lower uh, demand for uh, oil as hungry Americans uh, stay home instead of traveling. Uh, uh, and it will they believe it will help them uh, keep the war in Afghanistan going. Mm -hmm. It's part of their program to create a, a big bloody war in the Middle East by uh, using uh, Libya. Yeah. Li Libya is a jumping off place. So, uh, you mean their plan is increase war? Yes. Now, <laughs> But many of these Bilderberg boys are the sons of smokestack industrialists. They were born to wealth, but the uh, uh, Rothschilds and the Rockefellers have inherited a lot of money from the uh, manufacturing industry. And when you have wars, and spill the lifeblood of our young men and the heartblood of our women, you make big profits. Yes. Every war in the United States has had since 1812. There's uh, been, uh, uh, there is, there's been more profiteering because they, uh, 
Well, of course, the puppets go up automatically when you go to war because they're now building jeeps and tanks and trucks yeah. and airplanes. Uh, that's big bucks. But then they also get into more profiteering. And all these wars after World War II, there was a Senate committee headed by young Senator Harry Truman, who, uh, of course, the thing on the ticket was Roosevelt. Well, that was really World War II that they were here. He's about 1944, he's got a long ticket for Roosevelt. Uh, in 48, uh, that's how that is. And he's going to, in 44, that's his. He doesn't be elected president in 48. But his committee exposed politically, uh, more profiteering for American taxpayers, uh, of course, this for many millions of dollars. Millions in 19. Or it's like billions today. It's a, it's a crime the way they up to the war. Uh, it's about the rationale for war is population control. They're yelling that in 30 years, the earth will be too small. We've got to control the population. Well, one way to do it is to kill thousands of young men in uh, idiot wars. Okay, so one, one main information is that the wars will continue and increase. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so, and anything else? Uh, anything uh, else? Uh, any, any other information you got from inside? Yes. Uh, now, Henry Kissinger publicly poses as a peace advocate inside the Bilderberg meeting. He's calling for uh, the more military action to be prolonged in Afghanistan as way to uh, increase the role of Libya and, and other states in the uh, in, in war. So, yeah. So, uh, I mean, uh, that. Uh, uh, Libya becomes uh, another Afghanistan, something yes. like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. well, oh. It seems so after it's, it's about three months and it started in Libya. Yeah. Yes, they're uh, eager for it to continue. They may uh, try to somehow keep protecting the adopting of this. They have reason, or think they have reason to keep the war going. They uh, uh, could not be. Well, they, they don't worry about the Taliban uh, rising to power and then worry about how the Taliban, and this could be true, would be able, uh, uh, much easier for the Taliban to uh, slip terrorists across the America's border with, with Mexico. Mm -hmm. Thousands of illegal aliens cross that border uh, every year. It's a crime to get a country illegally. If I tried to go to Mexico, they'd sure shake me down the past because there's anything else. There's certain parts of Mexico I can't go. Because I'm American. There, there's some beaches in the resort areas that they say it'd be too crowded for the Americans to go, so you can't go there. Yeah, we're to uh, the dirty girls if we say illegal aliens should not come to the United States and roam wherever they want to. That's making better sense. But we ever heard of Obama making sense? Can I ask you also if you uh, heard uh, something about uh, Europe, Europe and European Union? What should uh, happen here? Uh, I mean, now with the uh, financial crisis, more and more countries are coming to debt, yeah. also in Europe. They're fighting uh, over what to do about Greece and uh, mm -hmm. in the other countries, but uh, Greece is the first concern. And the, the Germans say, well, we no longer want to uh, give Greece a, a blank check. Yeah. Uh, reversal for a little Miss Merkel, and uh, also uh, the Germany's reversed itself and wants to get rid of its uh, nuclear power stations now, uh, yeah. as does uh, 
Switzerland, this country. Yeah. And most polar guys don't like that because uh, there's money to be made from nuclear energy. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they'll cry about the climate uh, again, saying that the world's coming to an end in 30 years. The reminiscence of the kids in the 1970s yeah, in Washington who uh, burned buildings, bombed buildings, and killed people. Uh, because there was a uh, cooling off. And if we don't do something about the cooling of the earth, good Lord Almighty, uh, we'll all be frozen to death by the year 2000. Well, that was 11 years ago, and here we are. Uh, now it's global warming. But we're all going to freeze to death in the 1970s. Yeah. <laughs> so, maybe uh, another interesting topic uh, that uh, there should uh, be increased uh, war against freedom of internet. Uh, do you know anything about it? Well, the Americans have a tremendous First Amendment problem with it because uh, under our First Amendment our Constitution, uh, you cannot be punished for expressing your thoughts. Uh, there is such a thing as libel. For example, if I only have to tell somebody that John Jones, my neighbor, is a crook, he steals money, he beats his wife, but I know that's not true, I just say a maliciousness. Uh, he can sue me for uh, libel if I write or uh, uh, slander if I, I simply speak it. Now, that doesn't affect conversation between uh, the uh, critic and the, and the recipient. For instance, I can say to you, just you're the only one present, the only one knows about it, that you're an awful, that you're an awful dirty dirty. And uh, you, you can't uh, sue me at all. Because it was just between you and me. If you tell a third party, you've published it, I'm still not doing it. Uh, you can sue me if I go around telling you the whole, whole world, everybody in the world, that you're, you're dirty, dirty. But I'm not so but, uh, and also there's statutes in what the, uh, the U.S. Supreme Court call the robust debate doctrine. You cannot lie about the virus. President of the United States. He's such a public figure. Yeah. You must be able to say anything about that. The more of a public figure you are, the less you can, uh, are, uh, the more you can criticize without uh, live or defamation proceedings. If you're a famous senator, famous governor, uh, it'd be hard for uh, him to win a case of uh, slander or libel against anybody who made a public speech saying it's very, very important. These things are all very important to Americans. And when you uh, get the internet, we see a real serious person in the there. Through the technology, there's a lot of loony stuff on the internet. One year, well, quite some years ago now, about 1989 is the cold war is coming to an end. Somebody, uh, <clears throat> it was four days of the internet. But I remember there was some people uh, saying that 300 people attended the Bilderberg meeting, including the Pope. The other newspapers had the Pope far, far away from Bilderberg. He was in some other countries far away. The whole three days of my English language newspapers saying where all these guys are going. And of course, Bill Burks never had 300 to these 110 to 120. And uh, this year, yeah, 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 this year now, about 300 in no, the no, no, so. Still 110 to 120, yeah. that, that ratio. Uh, no, this guy would, would say that it would be 300. Yeah. And he's absolutely wrong, of course. And he's wrong about the Pope being there. So you don't take uh, stuff just r rushing the printer to check it out. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, there, is, there are also rumors uh, that uh, this year the Bilderberg meeting is uh, uh, 
uh, much more like a theater for public uh, than uh, last years. Uh, do you think it's it's like that, or there there is, or is it real meeting and real discussion? It's always a safe place to seal off with armed guards. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you cross your saw horses, <laughs> you'll go to jail. Oh, yeah. Have you go to jail? Uh, Uh, yeah. Of course, the guards are all around the building. Mm -hmm. Of course, yes. that's yes. a lot of. We have been there. Mm -hmm. You were up there, were you? Yeah, they were arrested for a few <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> yeah. How long they hold you? Um, About an hour. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's pretty nice, though. <laughs> I mean, by their standards. Yeah. They, they were searching our car, our ID cards, uh, everything. But uh, that has bad passport taken away. Uh, I think that was a good idea. I don't know if he's got it back in or not. No, we are okay. Because uh, there is quite a lot, a lot of people. I, mean, uh, I don't know about the uh, last uh, Bilderberg meetings, uh, uh, but uh, I think uh, now there is uh, most people ever. Yeah, I mean, uh, people from outside, people from independent media. Uh, and it's still about, I mean, 50, 70 or 100 people, 100 maximum, not more. Yeah. Uh, the fact that the Metropolitan newspapers are involved, they have been for years. Yeah. Uh, the Irish Times, I think it is, and the Guardian of London. That's, that's why the list was producing, I suppose, because they, they both are fresh. They know if we don't put a release list, they'll identify a lot of people here anyway. And then they'll write even bigger, meaner stories about us. Uh, keep the list, try to keep the list a secret. They're just to let them have a list, although they're not actually there in the It does not include either Gates, the Secretary of Defense, Robert Gates, or the young um, Bill Gates millionaire computer guy. Yeah. Uh, they're both pretending they're positively 100% identified. Uh, but they're not on the list. Exactly. Right. Yeah, well, we have heard also about that the base is here. It's confirmed. As we know. Definitely there. Uh, uh, and we ask, you know, ask ourselves uh, what will happen next year because it's uh, uh, probably, no, for sure, next year when a uh, Bilderberg meeting will be uh, probably in States or in Canada. We think uh, so. Well, it is likely because it's not 100% of the tenants has been over the years to meet every fourth year in North America, Canada, or the United States. Yeah. The last time they were in Canada, we were all bad. Our, our, in the United States, spoke Chantilly and 2008. Uh, yeah, wait. They shook down Obama. And they're saying this meeting that uh, it's a, well, it's a, Obama's war now. And he's approved the increase in uh, boots on the ground in Afghanistan. Uh, and it's now his war. They say he's, you understand his political problem. With the growing resistance in the Congress to the war. Um, so, uh, so, what do you think about that? They still consider the, the good soldier calling the orders. Right. They understand yeah. the political posture he has to do. Yes, it is. He is. Um, we just uh, discussed that, uh, uh, that uh, if more and more people will, will know about. Bilderberg and New World Order and all this stuff, uh, probably next year can come much more uh, protesters, much more yeah. people. I think, uh, I think it grows every year because yeah. awareness increases every year. Uh, and as soon as we find out where they are, we don't wait for the print edition to come out that week to tell people. We put it right on the, the, our 
internet site or what, what do they call it? Yeah. And people can just go to that site and say, you know, find out where the military is or they are going to be. And that helps get everybody prepared. Yeah. The CDM is quite well prepared, I mean, for us, for independent media. Well, we've had, yes. it's still further along. If I had the praise God promise of Brownstone, uh, some years ago, we found out that Bill Burns were meet someplace in Europe. I think it was even in France or something like that. Uh, real early, like November. Mm. And we did that was before the age of the computers. Uh, so we put in our print edition. Well, we don't have a heavy subscription in Europe because it takes, it has no air mail, air mail. It costs so much to uh, air mail. So they tend to, in Europe, uh, several people uh, pull their money to s subscribe and pass it around. So we get a letter uh, from somebody who say, hey, should we, alert the, should we alert the local media? And I said, yes. And it was so much fun. I believe it's Helsinki because I remember. Uh,